A very warm welcome to the Anglo. My name is David Bars. We've met many of you before. On behalf of Jody and myself, I would just like to thank you for the enormous commitment and trust that you've placed in the Anglo. And we look forward to working with you for the next five or who knows, seven years. Welcome to the Anglo family. My name is Jody G, co-head teacher, and it is our privilege to lead this distinctive, innovative and ambitious school. Our mission statement has stood the test of time. It is inspired by the International Baccalaureate Organisation and it informs our thinking in terms of our curriculum design, our relationships and our ambitions for our young people. The three aims are unique. Developed by this school in the 1970s and 80s and which have evolved. They are now more relevant than ever before. They encourage our students to achieve excellence. They encourage our students to develop their confidence and their ability to, res to respect their own culture, but to move confidently and respectfully between cultures. Our learner profile sets out a template which we ask our young people to judge themselves by, as we will judge them too. Our baccalaureate curriculum is central to our delivery. It is broad, it is balanced, it is holistic, it puts the child at the centre of all that we do. It is a, an educational experience that adds up to more than the sum of its parts. There is no hiding place in this school from the arts, from languages, from technology, from notions of citizenship, alongside mathematics, English, science and physical education. As parents, we know that examination results are important to you and we all know that you'll look at our examination results over the last few years. Ofsted called our outcomes outstanding and we believe they are. We are a school that will set your child high challenge, high aspirations and high expectations, but with support to meet their needs whatever their point of entry. So how will you know how well your child is doing at school? Well, we hope they will come home at the end of the school day full of excitement and enthusiasm and tell you all about what they have been learning and about their many achievements. But just in case they don't, we will send home numerous certificates and postcards and emails to share with you many of their successes. Once a term, you will receive a formal report which will have data on it from each subject area telling you how they are achieving against their personal targets and goals that we have set them. Once a year, you will receive a comprehensive review which will include further data on how they're getting on but will also include some information from their form tutor about their wider achievements across the school, their personal development and their involvement in clubs and activities in the Visits and Exchanges programme and how that is helping them develop the qualities of the learner profile. What is unique and distinctive about this school then? Well, the international dimension and ethos is perhaps the most distinctive and unique of its features. In this school, we teach eight different languages, as well as English as an additional language. Our students will learn two languages on entry into year seven. They can choose which two of those eight languages they want to study unless they choose to pursue the Mandarin Excellence Programme, where both language options will be taken studying and becoming fluent in Chinese Mandarin. This is a very important programme for us, which we run in partnership with University College London, the Department for Education and the British Council, and aims to achieve fluency by the time students leave our school. We hope that these students will use their language skills as they go out into the world and it will enable them to become quite distinctive and different from other people competing with them in the marketplace. As part of our programme, we offer them the opportunity to do international work experience. Children will be able to travel as part of the visits and exchanges programme to France or Germany, Spain, Russia, China, Italy. These are unique and distinctive opportunities which build children's confidence and make them perhaps less your child and more their own person as they progress through the school. We know that safe 
healthy and happy children make the most successful learners. And we believe that your child will get a comprehensive education, not just in their academic subjects, but how to keep themselves healthy and safe. We want to give them opportunities to express themselves, to talk about their feelings and experiences, particularly after the year that they've had. We have a large achievement team, which encompasses pastoral managers, year leaders, medical support officer, attendance officers, a whole host of people who are there just to care for your child's wealth, health and well-being. Working in partnership with parents is vital to the success of any school. We set great store by relationships. Relationships between our staff and our students, but also between our staff and our parent community. We have gained much deeper insight in recent months into the way in which our families have been cast as educators and through their homeschooling, but also I think a deeper insight has been gained into the challenges that the teaching profession faces. We therefore start from a very strong base and we look forward to sustaining that and to making sure that that partnership with parents makes a really important contribution to the, to the educational success of every child. We can only do that through good communication. We urge you to share any concerns with us we ask you to reserve judgment and allow us to look into any concerns that you have and let us move forward together. Please don't always assume that when your child says that bright pink trainers are okay in school, that that is okay, um, or that mobile phones are okay, or that piercings are okay. Look at our policies, of course, but talk to us. Our e-safety policy is really important and we can only implement this with your support. We ask you to monitor your child's use of computers, to regularly check their phones because they are the responsibility of the contract holder, which is invariably yourselves. The extracurricular programme is an important feature of any great school. Our extracurricular programme enhances the taught curriculum in a myriad of different ways. We run clubs to support the taught curriculum and to enrich it, but we also run activities that enhance a child's experience of the arts, of culture and of sport. These take place at lunchtimes and sometimes after school. This year we're working really hard to get to know you virtually. Hopefully you will already have met Mr Richards, your year leader, and Mrs Wood, your pastoral manager, in an earlier film. Today you've met both head teachers, and tomorrow you will receive by email the Student Guide to the Anglo. In that Student Guide you will find there's lots of information for you to read and plenty of transition activities that will keep you busy over the next few months before you come to us in September. One of those tasks is really important. We're asking you if you could complete a student profile and then email that student profile back to the school. We will share that student profile with other members of your tutor group so that you can meet each other virtually. For those of you who have students who have special educational needs, you will also be contacted in due course by Mrs Gwynne, our Senko. I know that she's already been in contact with many of you and has got to know some of your students very well already. So what will happen in September? Well, we are receiving a lot of advice and guidance from the government on a daily basis. And we are planning to hopefully meet you all on Wednesday the 2nd of September as planned. On that day, you will be met by a team of prefects, staff, and our SEND team, who will meet you at the main entrance to the school and at the new road entrance. And you will be taken to meet your tutor, and the other members of your tutor group in person. This day is going to be quite quiet in school. We're hoping that just Year 7 and the new Lower 6 students will be on our school site, giving us the opportunity to get to know you personally and spend a lot of time with you on that day. We know that you will have worries and a few anxieties about starting a new school, 
and we understand that and we're really looking forward to meeting you in person. We know that many schools do some tests and assessment on induction days. We know that you will be particularly anxious as you join us this September and so we've taken the decision not to have any assessments or tests on those first days in school. They have been moved later in the calendar so please don't worry about those first days at school. They're going to be full of taste lessons, time with your tutor, and lots of fun, exciting activities to familiarise yourself with the school. We also know that travel has become a tricky issue at the moment. We are working closely with our bus companies and train travel companies to get the most up-to-date advice and guidance to reassure you that they will be working with us to ensure that your students can travel safely to our school in September. Many of you will have experience of working alongside your child's existing school to help them raise funds and to organise social activities. The equivalent in this school is the Anglo-European School Association and I pay tribute to them for the way in which they have supported us through some very challenging times. They've raised significant amounts of money through having fun and parents have joined in those events in a very positive way. We thank them for what they've done. If you are interested in getting involved in the AESA, please contact us because they will welcome your support. One person who attends their meetings is someone who will be very familiar to you by name. And I'm going to take the opportunity now to introduce you to her because without her efforts, you would not be here today. Anne Smith, our admissions manager. It has been my pleasure to meet many of you over the past 12 months, either at our open evening, morning tours, on telephone conversations and by email. Please do continue to contact me over the next few months if you have any questions, particularly with regard to uniform or travel. I'm confidently handing you over now to Mr Richards, Mrs Wood, the form tutors, the Anglo teachers and professional support staff who, with myself, would like to support you and your children over the next few years. If you have family and friends who are starting their secondary school journey, please, please do ask them to contact me. It's never too early to start these conversations. I've even had conversations with parents with a six-month-old baby making inquiries. Thank you. My name's Ollie. I'm the head boy here at Anglo-European. Uh, first of all, congratulations on getting in. Uh, secondly, all I can say is I know how daunting this seems, but equally, I know how really it's not that scary. I was sat in your seat in 2014, which seems like a lifetime ago, but really it goes past quickly, especially if you grab Anglo with two hands. You're going to hear the phrase Anglo family quite a lot of the time you're here, but it really does have some basis to it if you do grab the school with two hands, especially with the visits programme. The visits programme we, we have here is incredible. You get to go to loads of places in the world, including China, France, Spain, Germany, Italy, anywhere. The school really does have an international ethos and it really does show throughout the school, especially with the subjects we teach here. Languages is a massive, massive part of our school, which you'll learn to actually love. I was never really good at languages, but I still love my languages lessons here. Citizenship is also a massive part of our school, which a lot of subjects, a lot of schools don't really have. It's a massive part of our school and a massive part of how we live our lives here and how we run our school. Again, all I can say is congratulations and of course welcome on September the 2nd. And now, my head girl, Hannah. Hi everyone, I'm Hannah and I'm head girl at Anglo. First of all, I'd like to welcome everyone and say that I'm looking really forward to meeting all the newcomers and helping you fit right in. Anglo is my fifth school so far and I joined in Lower Six. And when I first joined, I was very worried about meeting new people and moving to this new country and just fitting right in. But honestly, the school has lived up to its reputation and it's as international and as diverse as it claims to be. And somehow I'm head girl now. So the school has been really supportive and has helped push me to be a better student and a better person. And um, being head girl has allowed me to acquire new skills such as being more organized, managing my time, and even just standing in front, of, in front of a camera and speaking to you guys and just publicly speaking in general. And I'm really appreciative to Anglo for this. And so I would like to use my role as head girl to welcome all the newcomers and help you fit right in and just, you know, just to this new school. This is the Anglo family. The statistics on this slide show you the breadth and depth of our diversity. Alongside our teaching staff and our professional support staff, this diversity 
is our greatest educational resource. Our young people learn from each other, we learn from them. And in this way, we can truly collaborate to lay the foundation for an education which is truly fit for the 21st century. We are so thrilled that you want to join our thriving, vibrant international community. Our students are ambitious, resilient and principled young people who recognise their common humanity and want to make a peaceful, better society through intercultural understanding and respect. Welcome to the Anglo family.